Breaking news here from the MLB. Following the subpar results of the Pittsburgh Pirates in seasons past, management of the team has been transferred to a new owner. Not much is known about the new owner. He seems to have come out of nowhere. A press conference is currently underway, which we'll move to now. Joseph Hillsburg here from the All About Baseball magazine. Regarding your history as an owner, what teams have you owned before? No, I've never run a professional sports organization before. Pete Delanecki here from Rounding the Bases Digest. Do you have any experience in managing a sports team? Oh uh, no, I never have, but uh, this is the first time for everything, am I right? <laughs> Jennifer Staley here from Out in the Outfield Podcast. Have you ever coached a sports team before? Uh, no, I never have, but uh, come on. How hard gonna be? Roman Jonathan from You Would Have to Take Me Out of the Ball Game Weekly. What do you even know about the MLB? Uh, truth be told, I never really looked into the organization or its structures. Sir, how many years of baseball have you even played? Huh. Played? Well, the Pittsburgh Pirates will begin their 2021 season on I the road. I assumed everything I have into taking over the Pirates. A lot of people told me I was making a mistake. What do you know about baseball, they say? Now the damn media's been talking into everyone's ear and my team hates me. They seem to treat me as though I'm not even there. That's fine. I'll prove my worth by leading us to victory. And I mean, come on. Baseball will be easy. Hard hit ball to short. And there's one with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Scooped up. Throw the first beats him easy. I can feel his smug ball mocking me. Six innings in and we are in a tied game. But there's an opportunity. The stars have aligned. Excitement's in the air. The blood is pumping. And I see six. Colin Moran. Base hit after hit. Now the loaded. And with no surprise, Newman gets a good hit and gets the home run, is what I would love to say. But instead, he scores a single and we take the lead. And then for good measure, we get one more run in. Good hustle there, Frazier. And thanks to him and my leadership, like a storybook ending, we won opening day. Possible time run to the plate. Chatty Bonetti here from Pitchers and Catchers Monthly. You had a surprisingly good first game. What are your thoughts at the moment? Well, I'm very proud of my players. A lot of people wanted to see us fall, but to them I said we'll climb higher and higher up the tower of victory. Oh, but I'm bad. Betty from Betty at Betting at Bats podcast. Do you think your team will continue to see the same success you saw in your first game? Hmm. Well, as long as we keep playing a good game of baseball, I don't see one now. With the previous victory, I can tell morale's beginning to build. Does my team still hate me? Yeah. But as long as we keep winning games, I'm sure they'll turn around. And look! It's the bottom of the seventh, and we have six runs. Our pitchers might not be the best in the league, but when I give them the right calls, they will hold the line. Strikes him out here. Hard hit ball out there, and that will. I want everyone to know that my team and I are putting our max effort out there. We have been pushing, shoving, clawing, biting toward the victory, and we aren't letting go. I know the Pirates recently have not been known for performing, but let me tell you that we are getting over that anxiety and we are definitely going to leave you pleased. Our next game truly feels like a slow test. I have players like Newman and Frazier out there hitting their hearts out, but they can't seem to breach the outfield wall. Not to worry, because I got players like Hayes to match their defense. And all pitchers doing his absolute best holding the game. The innings are trickling down. 
and I can feel the vista. I just need to get that lucky home run, and I know what to do. All defense is solid. And now that it's down to the bottom of the ninth, I just need to get to that extra inning so that I know we can. Swing high fly ball out to left field. Gone! Santa Maria, game over! A solo shot here to left. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, you know, uh, you, you can't win them all. Uh, the, the, the players aren't the cream of the crop. It was completely out of my hands. But the team can take this one loss on the chin, and with enough belief, we can turn this around. Have some faith. Let's see three at-bats so far. Hey, this is where you go up there and you just focus on doing your job. Turn the scoreboard off in your head. I know you're down a lot, but you have... Well, well, you know, baseball, uh, baseball gets pretty rough. Uh, no, no one's gonna hand us the victories, but the team can turn it around. We could still make postseason, I think. Well, this is a situation where you're going strictly for the strikeout. Infield in, and from the offensive standpoint... And the Braves are going to pull this one out. They walk off of it. High school, Little League, college ball, in the minor leagues. And we are used to pulling the ball. That's the type of hitter you are. Some of these hitters are going to have to try to make some changes with these exaggerated shifts. They can't make the tag on him. He's... A swing and a high drive to right center field. Back goes Polanco into the bleachers and gone. The team is good. I swear, I swear the team is still good. Oh, but we're going to give me one more game. Just, just, just one more game. And I swear we can turn it around. We can turn it around. Just have some faith. Have some faith. So, this isn't one of your press conferences. And that is a fair ball. This one's heading for the left field corner. And the go-ahead run will score for the save. And now, in fact, they'll tag him out. It's now Munson with a swing and a deep drive to right. Racing back to second inning. There's a fly ball well hit. Going back in the right fielder. Hang on, this is hit deep into right center. This looks to have enough, and it does. A home run. These players are capable of much better. I might have made some huge mistakes. Baseball is hard. I'm struggling hard. I'm on the verge of losing everything I have. Everything I put forward to acquire this team. Luckily my team never looked me in the eye because now I can't even imagine facing them. Things are looking hopeless. A trade? But really, what could one trade do? Another game, another impending loss. One to three with man on base. I've been here before. First strike, of course. Second strike, foul ball. And then here comes the out. Oh, well, all right, well, uh, two to three still means that I lose. But uh, I guess a, a pinch hitter wouldn't hurt. Polanco, go out there. Why not? Uh, but don't worry, I'm not expecting much. Wow! The home run! Ah, let's go! I actually won a game. <laughs> hey, high five. All right, maybe later. If I'm feeling this level of relief, I wonder what the players must be feeling. Our record for the first half of the season is way below expectation. I don't think they trust me in any sense. They might even think the season is lost. But this win after the trade has made me realize there still might be a chance. And I owe what I can to my team. You know, the recent trade has really shaken up the team. Team morale is like a seed, and it's finally grown wings to take off running. Now, you might think this last game was luck, but you'd be wrong. I want you all to watch very closely, because this franchise is turning around. 
postseason ain't as unlikely as you might believe. Listen up, boys. No reporters, no nothing. Just you and me. Now, I know your boys never did like me much. No amounts of hearts and kisses are gonna make up for the bad start we suffered. But we need to win this game. It is our last shot at making postseason, and I know that we can hit the bullseye. We have become a much stronger team than when we first started. We really did turn this franchise around. So I promise y'all, through everything I have done to get us into this position, I swear I'll make it right and get us through all of this. Everyone's beginner was against us, betting against us, fighting to keep us down. Well, if they're looking for a fight, we'll be happy to give them one. Our right, boys, rally up and get out there. Welcome to the home of the Buccos. The Cardinals are the only thing stopping us from reaching postseason. The score's four to four, seventh inning. And here's where our defense slips. One big hit all the way to our outfield leaves a man on third. Then the sacrificial pop fly brings in that man. But you know, I've dealt with bad beginnings, and I have no doubt in my mind we can still turn it around. We've done it before, let's do it again. Right now, my biggest weakness is being tested, my offense. It's no secret that I haven't been doing that well with it, and the Cardinals are not taking it easy on me. Well, I also need to shut down the Cardinals' offense. That one run was one too many, and I think we succeeded with that. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. And then we finally break through. A nice line drive down the middle gives us a single and a great opportunity. Now it's time to call in my biggest gun. Of all the hitters in my roster, I can't think of one who saved me more than Polanco. Time and time again, he's bailed me out, and I hope he can do so again. He gives us a good hit, but I was hoping for a great hit, a home run. And it stings that nothing came from that good hit, as the inning ends with two immediate strikeouts. But there is no fear, the ninth inning is where miracles are born. Striking out the Cardinals begins the bottom of the ninth. Come on, 
We can do this. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and set to go as the third baseman, Key Ryan Hayes. Listen, it's not easy coming back off the closers, but this guy hasn't been wow. super dependent. Popped up, Arenado shading to his right, and that's the oh, second wow. out of the First offering on its way. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. So guys, I guess not games this against time. division rivals might mean more. We tried our best. Our second half of the season couldn't quite carry the poor first half. I would like to apologize to the fans out there who supported us, and the players as well. Truth be told, the boys never did like me, and this didn't do me any favors. You know, I've been thinking of cutting my losses here. Maybe sports teams aren't in the cards for me, and I should just give up. But I made a promise to my team and I'm not giving up right here. We'll see what we can do with some trades, some new signings, new coaches. With all that, I do think we have a promising future. Alright, let's get down to work. Let's get some coaches. And now let's find some free agents. Trevor Story? No, a Syndergaard. Yeah, let's get Thor on there. Yeah, I think this trade works for me. Now with my full team, I think there's no one that's below an 80 overall. Let's start spring training. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today, a spring training matchup between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Baltimore Orioles. Well, here we it's go again. Baseball. Time for a new start. I messed up before at the beginning, but I won't be making the same mistakes twice. Not to mention that my team is looking pretty good at the moment. He's gonna have a really All right, good game. Right. Let's get the show started. The Orioles are coming out guns blazing, putting the brakes on me immediately. Oh, but that's all right. I have my own gun. However, that doesn't stop the Orioles from chipping their way in. A nice solid hit to outfield, leaving a man on third. And following that up with a sacrificial pop fly to bring him in. Now I'm not worried. The game is still young. Now I get my own single. And I follow that up with a double. And then another grounder to bring in a runner and even the score. I would like to take this moment to really appreciate being able to pick up the goal. Syndergaard is heads and shoulders above my previous pitcher and is really owning his pay. With him being able to help carry the defense, I really do look forward to seeing how my team progresses with him on board. I wasn't expecting them to get a home run by that close of margin. Uh, but they haven't run away with the game just yet. A single right over the second baseman's head. Then I'll run that same hit back. Two men on base and no outs. 
things are looking pretty good. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do in today's oh, wait, he caught that? Oh. Tag tag face. Uh, no, wait. No, stop. No, we, we, we can't. Triple play? And now Syndicate has to be switched out? I just threw away the best in and I had yet. <laughs> this is looking bad for me. It's too late. You can't even put a good swing on I am the first half of the eighth in and unable to make any ground. Line drive to left. And that's God, it. Just hit a double. Make it a one for three games so far. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. When you're leading by one, Ramon Urias set the plate now. And then they were able to bring that run out in. in there. Base hit. Richmond is on his way home. And One to three. I'm down bad again. I've rebuilt the best team available to me, and I'm still well, losing. Nothing. There's something wrong with me. I could be given pure gold, and I will just squander. First down. To start nine. Is there any denying that I just might be the worst now, baseball manager? So Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Even then, the worst baseball manager still has promises to keep. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Left fielder looking up. And goodbye. This one ain't coming yeah! Let's go! A home run! The left city two ball game. The game's not over yet. Two outs in the ninth inning. It's time to make a miracle. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. So he'll add one to A single to put a man on first. There's an opportunity. The stars have a line. Excitement's in the air. The blood is pumping. And I seize it. Oh, and look at this. Yes! Time to shut this game down. One out. Two out. Three. And that's the ball game. You know, I'm very proud of my players. And I could tell morale is beginning to build. And I think it might be best if I don't try to force myself where I don't belong. This win made me realize there's a very strong chance that we can take it all this year. I made a promise to my team that I will make it right and get us through to the World Series.